Hey, internet friends, I'm Mike Schmitz, and today I wanna to share a form of journaling called daily questions, which is perfect for eliminating the friction of daily journaling and making the habit finally stick. Now, you may be wondering, what's the big deal with journaling anyways? Why are so many people obsessed with this idea? The thing that finally won me over was looking at all the benefits of a regular journaling habit. Some of those benefits include things like less stress, better moods, lower blood pressure, more creativity, better self-esteem, better memory, better sleep, and there's a whole lot more. There have been countless studies done on journaling, and there's no arguing the data is pretty conclusive. A consistent journaling habit can have a significant impact on your personal well-being. But that doesn't mean it happens automatically. This is not a knowledge problem, it's a behavioral problem. And in fact, I've struggled with this for years. I understood the benefits, but I still had trouble journaling every day. I had a whole bunch of prompts that I used, but when I didn't have a great day, I found myself not wanting to respond to them, which meant that journaling for me was an on-again, off-again habit for a really long time. I'd recommit, I'd be consistent for a while, then I'd fall off the wagon. And the cycle would repeat itself. I'd recommit, I'd be consistent for a while, and I'd fall off again. But the thing that made it click for me was reading this book, Triggers by Marshall Goldsmith. Now, we covered this in episode 96 of the Bookworm podcast. There's a link in the description below if you want to listen to that episode on how our environments can end up working against us if we're not careful. But in the book, Marshall talks about his daily questions that he uses to measure his engagement with the things that really matter. And he talked about how he used to use prompts, just like I was, but then he realized that they were all passive. So he adjusted them to be more active. And he, he wanted them to measure how much he tried instead of how much he did. Now, this idea immediately resonated with me. So I started modifying my own journaling prompts using this daily questions format, which is really super simple. The key is just to ask yourself, did I do my best to, and then fill in the blank. So for example, Marshall uses questions like, did I do my best to set clear goals today? And did I do my best to find meaning today? Now, I've modified them for the areas that are important to me, and I also quickly gave up on the spreadsheet that Marshall uses in favor of Obsidian, which in my opinion is the perfect digital journaling app because of two things. Number one, the Daily Notes plugin allows you to associate journal entries with a specific day. And number two, the ability to extend the functionality of Obsidian using community plugins that allow you to do some pretty interesting things with the data. So here's how I implement the Daily Questions journaling workflow inside of Obsidian. So here we are in Obsidian, and this is the daily notes template that I use every single day for my daily questions journaling. Uh, and like I talked about in the previous section, really the benefit of this is that it's based on my intentions, not the outcomes. So did I do my best to, and you can fill in the blanks here for what's important to you, but for me, it's did I do my best to grow spiritually, love my wife, love my kids, be a good friend, learn something, create something, and exercise. Then there is a nested tag associated with each one of these. So for example, daily questions slash spiritual actually applies both the spiritual and the daily questions tag. And then when I use this, I will assign a value for each one of these from one being low to 10, I knocked it out of the park for all these different areas. I do this every single day and then I use a plugin which will allow me to plot these over time and, and see my averages. So to use this in the Daily Notes workflow, you need to have the Daily Notes plugin enabled. So go to the gear for the settings, go to core plugins, and make sure that you have this Daily Notes option enabled. And then once you turn that on, the plugin options for Daily Notes allows you to select the template that you're going to use. So mine is using the Daily Notes template, which is in the templates folder. All of my Daily Notes get saved inside of a separate Daily Notes folder. And uh, the date format, I just use the standard year, 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 dash, month, month, dash, day, day format. Okay, so now when I create a new daily note, I click on the button over here on the left, or I can click on the date in the calendar plugin uh, on the right sidebar. That creates a new daily note with a whole bunch of other stuff. This is actually a timeline with the white dot being adjusted to the date that I'm recording this. The do today section uses the Obsidian Tasks plugin, but the focus of this video is on the daily questions, so that's right here, let's focus on this. Now the workflow is that throughout the day, I will fill this out as I feel I have an answer for any one of these questions. And again, these are arbitrary just based on how I'm feeling, which eliminates all the friction 
of journaling for me. I don't have to create an outcome in order in order to fill these out. So if I'm not feeling it, but I go for a run, even if it's slow, even if I don't go very far, I'll give myself a 10 for exercise. Uh, I am creating this video, so that is a pretty significant thing. I'm going to give myself a 10 there. Did I do my best to learn something? Uh, yeah, but I don't have anything super profound that is going to change my life, so I'll give that an 8. Uh, did I do my best to be a good friend today? Maybe I sent a text message to somebody to encourage them, give that an 8. Love my kids, love my wife, and grow spiritually. So this is what a typical day would look like for me. And that's it. Now I'm done. You can see that takes me almost no time. I do it throughout the day. If I miss something, I'll make sure that I uh, I do this at the end of the day, make sure this is all set before I go to bed. But then I review this every 90 days or so as part of my personal retreat process. So what I do uh, there is I use another plugin called Tracker. This is a community plugin, which will plot these values over time. So the Tracker plugin, if you go to the settings and then go to community plugins, click on browse, you'll search the directory and just search for Tracker. Okay, I already have it installed, but it's this one right here. And this allows you to plot these values in a lot of interesting ways. So there's lots of different options here with this plugin. I'll show you how I use this. I have a note called daily questions. I've started, so it's one of my favorites. I can get to it quickly this way. And what this does is it takes all of those tags and it plots out the values over the last period of since I've done my, my last personal retreat. So here is all of my ratings from March 22nd all the way out to uh, June 30th. Uh, and if I click into this block here, this will actually give me the code. Um, actually, it's so I'll walk you through real quick what this is doing. It's using the tracker plugin. It's using the search type tag. So it's displaying tags and it's using the daily question slash spiritual tag. It's got a start date. It's got an end date. So everything in between those two dates. And then it's creating a line graph with the y-axis label of rating, minimum value of zero, maximum value of 10. So uh, what does that look like? It looks like what we saw here. And I can see some days where I went, uh, I did really well. Some days I didn't do very well. Uh, sometimes there'll be outliers here. I don't typically go as low as four or five, but if there is a day that shows up with a four or five, typically I'll, I'll click into that daily question and I'll figure out why that is, because I'm going to have journal entries that have contributed to that as well. It's also going to give me my average over the last time period here. So in this case, uh, 8.75, not bad. Uh, and then it's going to load these graphs for each one of these different areas that were important to me. So here's love my wife, love my kids, be a good friend. As you can see, I'm pretty consistent here. But like I said, every once in a while, there'll be something, some values that are low or high. So for create something, for example, I've got a whole bunch of tens here. Those were the days that I was participating in the ship 30 for 30 uh, online writing cohort. And I was publishing something every single day. So I gave myself a 10 because I actually shipped something every single day. Then there were days I was kind of burned out after shipping all that stuff so frequently. So there were some days that I, I, I worked on some things, but I, I really didn't make much progress. And so those are a little bit a little bit lower. And then there are days with exercise, these kind of tend to be all over the place, uh, depending on did I, uh, I was training for a, a half marathon, I actually ran two half marathons uh, back to back weekends. So there were several days where this was really great. And then several days where it wasn't great, uh, kind of after I, I got through those those races. So you can see this gives me a whole bunch of data over the last period. And it kind of shows me what are the areas that I need to do a little bit better in. So in this particular case, exercise. And then I might use that information going into my personal retreat and kind of establish some, some new goals based on bolstering that specific area. But this doesn't work if I don't have the data. And the way that I've found to get that data consistently is to make it as easy as possible, eliminate as much friction as I can in the journaling process and daily questions have really helped me to do that. So there you go. That's how I implement my daily questions journaling workflow inside of Obsidian. If you've had trouble in the past getting a journaling habit to stick, I recommend you give daily questions a shot. I've been journaling this way for about two years now, and I don't intend on stopping anytime soon. I've included links below to both the tracker plugin that makes this whole workflow tick and my current daily notes template file to help get you started. So best of luck on your journaling journey. And until next time, keep going.
and keep growing.